What the Tech is sponsored by EPB Fiber Optics. Experience recklessly fast, consistently reliable internet speeds on Chattanooga's only 100% fiber optic network. Learn more at epb.com. Every time I get one of those no notifications to reset my password, my brain says, no. <laughs> I want to leave it Finished. as is, yeah. right? But, but today <laughs> is World Password Day, a reminder of the importance of using solid passwords for every account. Yeah, I know those passwords are hard to remember sometimes when you have to change them. Our consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, takes a look at how cyber criminals use stolen passwords and what you can do about it. I think a lot of people picture a hacker as an individual sitting behind a computer keyboard randomly entering usernames and passwords, but that's not how it works. Cyber criminals work in groups and they find stolen passwords online and use elaborate software to try those passwords on multiple accounts to see what works. If one works, they'll try it on other accounts. Troy Hunt, who runs the password checker website, Have I Been Pwned, tells me most people don't realize the dangers of using the same password until it's too late. It does take a bit of a, a bit of a shift on their behalf to get their head around the risk. And, and what we often find is, is someone needs to be the victim of an account takeover attack or an identity theft attack before they go, oh, yeah, you know, like this is actually a bad thing. Passkeys are a relatively new solution. You sign into accounts with two-factor authentication and use an authenticator app to sign in with a fingerprint or face scan on a second device. There's the YubiKey, a physical NFC device that enters passwords with just the tap of a fingerprint. Password managers like 1Password and LastPass use just one master password to unlock unique passwords for every account. My choice is a secret code, a 12-character password you can set to memory and then use that code on every account. You just add the first two letters of the account somewhere to help you remember where to use it. It's not as easy as using password123 for all of your accounts, but it's easier than you might think and the most important thing you can do to protect your accounts. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.